Welcome back. The hobo is out. It is I, Dr. Tom, who will civilize you the ways of the professional wrestler. For it is a special weekend this year. We have two shows, two very big shows, I might add. We have the NXT TakeOver, which never let, lets down. It's the most spectacular blend of artistry, charisma, character, and of course, physical endeavors. Then we have the Royal Rumble. Yes, the Royal Rumble. The showcase, the true showcase of the Immortals. And why does this not fit properly? It's been a while since I've been here. This hobo house. Hobo Tom, you must learn to clean up your hovel. Uh, let's talk about some predictions. I'm going to do two predictions today. Obviously, there's going to be the NXT TakeOver at Phoenix. I'm going to take a little break and discuss the Royal Rumble. Again, with WWE, there is always math involved. I cannot believe the hobo built this hovel with such bad lighting. It's weird. But again, I guess he's a hobo who does not know the principles of Euclidean architecture and other such things. But let's get to the perfect the professional endeavor of grappling, as it should be called. So, first with TakeOver, we have a couple different matches. And, again, I shall give you a Stone Cold Lock match that I might sleep through. And the match of the night. So let's begin this. So, and again, these are in no particular order for these so-called journalists. They just write random things down and do not take much carefully planned notes, which is a person of fine academic standing as myself. So the first one. The opening match of the evening, if they were smart, which they do have issues with. Matt Riddle versus Kais, Kais Ono. Hmm. Kais Ono is a gig. And again, as we'll see in the next upcoming video short, he is going to do something intriguing. So I shall, I shall say Matt Riddell is victorious. Then we have a true prince among men. Man worthy being in a royal rumble. A true king, Ricochet, versus the Seraphian, Johnny Gargano. Johnny Gargano, you need to be more mindful of your wife and loved ones. This is for the championship of the United States. Unfortunately, through nefarious Johnny Gargano, at his wife's displeasure, will defeat the prince, the king, Ricochet. Then we have the Undisputed Era. Another bunch of ruffians where they throw up 
gang signs that that various hand symbols I, I, I uncomprehensible the, for those of the lower plebeian caste the ruffians the miscreants they are they found war raiders members of a barbarian horde such as the vikings the vandals the goths the visigoths the huns and other more nomadic people hmm. ruffians versus barbarians most intriguing I shall circle the war raiders. Again, it was the Visigoths that did sack Rome. Yes. However, though, this is going to be a snoo. No. Match of the night. My Stone Cold Lock will be my pre will be two matches ago. Stone Cold Lock for Matt Riddell. Ricochet versus Johnny Gargano's match of the night. In this next match. Is going to be the nap that I so that the match that I need that nap for. Let me snooze. The Queen of Spades. How dare she refers herself as a queen? Looks like some common brawler, some hooligan, finding. A pub of ill repute versus Bianca Belair, who is the E S T. He's an estimate, and what is this? Who is this interrupting me? Ah, yes, fuzzy socks. Fuzzy socks are good. Zero. Fuzzy. Socks are good. You also a fuzzy robe. Bathrobe. Okay. Biz minor business taken care of. I do apologize for my rudeness. Uh, Shayna Baszler is going to win. Bianca Belair is good, but not. And the main event of the evening, the true feature of this Tommaso Ciampa, the psycho killer. Versus the man who wields the black mask, Alistair Black. It's going to be Tommaso Ciampa. Will retain his NXT championship. And as a bonus content, you're going to see the dark DIY, the heel team, the heel DIY. Well, remember, their motto is DIY because no one's going to do it for you. Although, this will be at the greatest displeasure, Miss Candace Gargano, also known as Candace LeRae, who has been misused and cast aside like a child's used play doll. Shame on you, NXT. You're, just, you're 
lowered the career expectations of Candice LeRae. Removed the one and true princess of wrestling, Princess Kimberly. So again, we shall see how I fare in this match. And there may be one match. They do odd things sometimes. So let's make haste and proceed to the true show shows. The reason why people watch and spend their meager earnings or like Hobo Tom procured by other nefarious means. A Royal Rumble in the pre-show, how dare they? They have Rusev versus Shinsuke Nakamura for the US Championship. Shame on you! I should feel shame for this. I shall say Rusev shall retain his championship. Yes, of course, with his most lovely and adored wife, Lana, helping him, of course. Then you have the Cruiserweight Championship. Of uh, Buddy Murphy, Kalisto, Akira Tozawa, and Hideo Itami. All vying for the Cruiserweight Championship. Kalisto is a part of the Lucha House Party. Uh -uh. Hideo Itami and... Kiritazawa might cancel each other out. That means mathematically, Buddy Murphy is the only man left standing, and therefore Buddy Murphy shall retain his cruiserweight championship. Now, after all the talking and pageantry and pomp and circumstance is complete, we get to the main card. And the first match should be the bar versus with the bar, of course, is comprised of Seamus and Cesaro versus the greatest tag team of Shane McMahon and The Miz. Yeah, nepotism aside. Shane McMahon and The Miz shall be victorious. Therefore, will earn the respect of each of their respective fathers. Yes. Ooh, what is it? I have one. Okay. There we go. Again, I do apologize for conducting personal business. But this hobo just leaves me in this hovel, this den of iniquities. I must take care of some personal business while he goes off and does whatever hobos do. Then let's see. next. I will be the Women's Royal Rumble. Who should win that? I shall go with a time-honored tradition. Say Charlotte Blair. And WWE should be using the wrestlers' last names. Here. Who would be a surprise entrant? 
<sighs> on NXT. Might have, ooh, there's one. Prize. Rhea Ripley. And just because I have her picture, Amber Nova. Yes, that sounds good. Then let's see here. We'll have Becky Lynch versus Asuka for the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship. Asuka will retain. So this, way, this leads to WrestleMania in the three-way main event, three-woman event, Ronda Rousey, Becky Lynch, and Charlotte. Becky and Charlotte can feud. Asuka did not necessarily stand tall either. Therefore, Asuka, that's like the math between the Shane and Miz, because the Shane and Miz were nearly deprived of their rights of life, Liberty and the pursuit of happiness by the bar. They shall also, again, the math says, you stand tall, you lose. Asuka, pretty good thumping from Becky Lynch. So, therefore, Asuka shall retain her belt. And the next match. What should be next? Daniel Bryan versus AJ Styles. Why did the WWE put this match or hold the WWE title in the low esteem? It's beyond a man of integrity such as myself. If they could do this, let's see. AJ Styles got knee in the face. Would be good to see this continue for the rematch the next show. Yes, AJ Styles shall be victorious again, for he is the phenomenal one. Even though Daniel Bryan is the heel, he makes excellent points. Is most concerned about consumerism, materialism, and just general waste of our modern society. He is not going to be victorious. That makes sense. And then at, for the men's rumble, who could... Seth won. Drew McIntyre's in. He lost. Dean Ambrose is confused. Dolph might show up. Hmm. The most beguiling is this. There's no one true person. So I shall say Drew McIntyre wins. And surprises. Cassius Ono. Ooh, Sami Zayn. Kevin Owens. Not going to happen because of the contract. I wish it was Kenny Omega. So that would set up a long term thing. 
heading into next Survivor Series, but his contract still affects until the 31st. Kushida! Kushida might show up. Signed. Drew McIntyre. Charlotte Flair. He's a heel, too. That makes sense. Then for the Universal Championship, Finn Balor versus Brock Lesnar. This is very simple. This is going to be fun. Brock Lesnar is going to prevail. The snooze match. The match of the night will probably will be AJ Styles versus Daniel Bryan match of the night. The snooze match. It's going to be the Women's Rumble. And then the Stone Cold Lock. It's going to be Brock Lesnar's victory over Finn Balor. And let's, I think it's teased and taunted at the main event of the evening. We have Ronda Rousey versus Sasha Banks. For the WWE Raw Women's Championship. Ronda Rousey, very strong. Yes. And my prediction three bots. Let us recap very quickly. For NXT TakeOver, it is Matherdell versus Cash. Well, We'll go over Cassius Ono. Johnny Gargano defeats Ricochet. War Raiders defeat Undisputed Era. Shayna Baszler defeats Bianca Belair. Tommaso Ciampa defeats Aleister Black. Again, with the tease of this being, we have a dark DIY. That's the bonus part. And the second bonus part is that Candice LeRae will somehow meddle. For the Royal Rumble itself, in the... Pre-show, it's going to be Buddy Murphy retains, Rusev retains. Are all the champions retaining? No, all but one. The Men's Royal Rumble, then in no particular order. The Drew McIntyre wins with surprise, with surprise entrance of Kasha Sono, Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, and Kushida. Women's Rumble, Charlotte Flair retains. With the surprise of Rhea Ripley and Amber Nova. And you know who else shows up? Molly Holly shows up sometimes. Molly. For the WWE Championship, AJ Styles will overcome all the treachery of Daniel Bryan. Brock Lesnar shall defeat Finn Balor. And the Stone Cold Lock. Shane and the Miz will defeat the bar and become. Oh, they're also going to get the belts. Oh, two titles. Becky Lynch versus Asuka, and Asuka shall retain her championship. And then Ronda Rousey defeats Sasha Banks, and in this match, I say there will be three botches. So, again, I would like to thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed this fine video, this fine video production. Share the Hobo office. Hobo Tom, get back here.